Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements, and here we are in Photoshop Elements. Today I want to look at scanning and repairing photos, so we're going to do this as a three-part tutorial. In part one, we're going to look at just how to run a scanner and how to properly scan your photos, and then in part two, we'll look at how to modify those photos once you've scanned them in, and then Finally, in part three, we'll look at how to repair a damaged photo using Photoshop Elements. Now, it used to be that Photoshop Elements had built into it a plugin for scanning, and you could just go here, and as long as you had your scanning software, you could select Import, and it would connect directly to your scanner. That's no longer available. However, there is some good scanning software available if you are using a PC, for instance. There's a great free program called Scan, and here is Scan. You can get it from the Microsoft Store, and it's a very simple scanner, but yet it does the job pretty well. Now, this is the basic screen for it, or the main screen for it, and I have selected JPEG. That's one of many options available, but JPEG is just fine for most photos. And if I select Show More, you see I have other options here. I'm going to save the file to my Pictures folder, and I'm going to choose a resolution of 400. I may choose a higher resolution because it's easier to go down than to go up. In other words, once I scan my photos, much easier to bring the resolution down than it is to have a picture that is under resolved or with a lower resolution and then to expand it. So it's better to have too much than too little. Of course the color mode I want to select is color. Now with all that said I have two options here to preview or to scan. Preview is what I always do first to make sure that my photos are actually where they need to be on the scanner. And I've got three photos that I'm going to scan at once because there's a cool trick in Photoshop Elements I'll show you in our next tutorial what to do once you've selected the photos or once you've scanned the photos. Now I have the photos in here and as you can see one of them is crooked. Uh, none of these are completely lined up. One is horizontal. Uh, some, most of these are vertical. I could use these little corner handles to select a particular photo and only scan it, but I'm going to scan all three at once and let's go ahead and click the scan button now and it's going to scan those in for us and it's going to save them in our pictures folder. Now one of the things I don't like about scan is it doesn't give you the option to name the file that you've created by scanning these pictures. So we'll kind of have to dig for it, but it's usually called scan something or other, and I know that I put it in my pictures folder. So that's where we'll go. And we can click the view button to see what the scan looks like. There it is. Not bad. That's just in the default picture viewer. We'll close it up. And then we'll go over here to Photoshop Elements, where I'm going to browse to my picture folder or my picture directory. And then I'll find this particular scan, which, like I say, is probably going to be called Scan Something. And there it is. And that is our scan of our photos. They look a little bit washed out to me, and that may or may not be a problem. I'm curious if we get a better result if we scan the photos individually. So I'm going to do that real quickly. Let's open up my scan program again. This time I'm going to preview. And I'm just going to select a photo by cropping into it. Sometimes the scanner has some software for uh, making your picture look better. We'll select scan. And sometimes it will focus on the photo that you have selected and really do its best to get a nice, clean, sharp scan. But let's see if the scan we get here is any better than the scan we have of all the uh, spread pictures here or all the pictures spread across the scanner. If I open up view, I'm not sure that looks that much better. Let's look at it in Photoshop Elements. Or we'll browse down to it here. So this is our individual scan. Let's zoom in on the scan on the other side and we'll see if the results are any better. They kind of look about the same, so the scanner did a pretty good job, even with those extremes of color and light. So I think we're going to be able to use our, our scan or our spread here where we had several pictures at once. And in our next tutorial, we're going to see how to break those into individual files and really do some nice cleanup with them. So join me for part two.